once again, I have no idea what character we're doing today. So we're just gonna do one of the Fire Emblem songs. Yeah, this one. Step into the ring. Five, two, and six, eight. Today we're doing Lucas, all right. Lucas. All right, cool. Everything's all good. All right, let's bring back the score ratio. And talk about the Nintendo Direct that's happened today. Well, uh, we waited for everyone else to come in silence. Not exactly silence, but yeah. Anyways, remember some of the vocal minority who just wanted a real Bonafide Nintendo Direct full of Nintendo games and all that. Well, they... They definitely did not see what was all coming with today's Nintendo Direct. We got some pretty hype ports that would... Frick! Oh gosh. I completely forgot about the amiibo. Hold on. <laughs> Okay, we're turning off the amiibo. <laughs> alright, alright, um, let me just get the screen set up again. <laughs> okay, so 0C41H. But yeah, like I said, we got some... Pretty hype stuff coming to Nintendo Switch now. Like them epic ports. And also some new games and all that. One of them being like Monster Hunters Sunbreak, which was announced a few weeks ago during Capcom's presentation and all that. Then we got some other stuff like Nier Automata, which I actually popped off for, and in my pop ups would actually sound really nice out of context. Like, I was just saying, Nier? Nier? And people would be like, What's this lunatic con? The moon, baby. Yeah, I didn't think that PK Freeze was gonna work. But as for the biggest announcement that happened in the direct today, the Persona fans finally got what they wanted. A good old Persona 5 on the Nintendo Switch. Not only that, but it's Persona 5 Royal. Well, not just that, I mean. Oh yeah, and also the other Popular Persona games are coming to the Switch later on. So, yeah, some pretty good stuff. Down Smash, why didn't you come out? Alright, fair enough. And Ford Smash takes out my first stock.
You know what I'll just... Yeah, so much for the random up smash. Oh wait, there were better kill throws that I that I could have done there. Wow, that that did a lot of shield pressure there. Um. All right. There we go. Up through. That'll do it. And then to roll behind his bell, or... Wow, that tether reaches pretty long, actually. Just roll behind his bell, and... Just get forward smashed. And I have to recover with Lucas. Oh, well, at least it's not as bad as with Ness. Let's see, what are some other notable stuff that I remember from the direct? Oh right! The Disney game that's coming out, Mickey Mouse has amnesia. <laughs> uh, what have been the perfect stage bike? Oh yeah, and also everyone else has amnesia, but... Honestly, it's a lot funnier to say Mickey Mouse has amnesia. Word throw? Okay. And the random PK fire. Doesn't quite do it, but the forehead of justice does it quite well. Does it justice? Anyways, that is a three-two and a win. Good match. Oh, we got people uh, promoting their Instagram on Smash Bros. Yeah, first time I've ever seen it. I was about to say, yeah, I've seen Stranger, but truth be told, I haven't seen Stranger. Oh, I was ready to reflect that blazing end, too. Alright, it. At least Pella has that gun for them. It appears I got the forward smash ready a little too late there. Oops. Um. Thinking uh, another blazing end was gonna come out, like that one, and that'll that'll kill because it, I was the eye in the wrong direction. Alright, so Pella would definitely be rolling more behind or trying to 
get out of my reach this. Trying to taunt me like that? Oh frick, it actually worked. No, not me! <laughs> Alright. I just realized I haven't even gotten a single KO off of this pirate yet. And that was almost about to change there. I could have shielded that entire thing. Alright. Alright, that's what you get. I almost got a jab off of her. I guess uh, Blazing Man did, doesn't end as quickly as I thought it would. Definitely some better stuff that I could have used there. And finally, Pella managed to get my final stock. With only three and a half minutes left on the clock, too. Anyways, get good. That'll be, uh... One three and no win. See if our Isabel here will teach this guy a lesson. While I change out my joy cons. Gonna mute the mic so that the Joy-Con change wouldn't be so loud, apparently. Truth be told, I suppose Isabella would be more of a main material, and Yoshi a uh, secondary material. And Yankee dude just uh, going for the bait and punishes and all that. Really teaching this guy a lesson. Now, if only I can teach this guy a lesson. But yeah, at the moment, Paula it seems to only be getting successes off of Blaze. Oh, wait, we got the up airs. Alright. Something that really helps with Pella's strategy is the uh, biplat nature of Unova Pokemon League. Alright, Yankee Dude getting some good combos in. that advantage in as well. But then if Paula getting that advantage back. Oh, never seen Order combo into Nair so nicely before, though. And yeah, that combined with some inputs on Paula's part will take out to Paula's first no second stock. Paula trying to cover a really wide area as far as the advantage goes.
All right, jab into the border. Almost takes out Pella's final stock. Yankee dude just uh, doing a uh, eminent victory and victory dance by doing a bunch of two bags and all that. And yeah, Yankee dude goes on to stay in the arena for a bit longer. Going up against me up next. Kind of have the feeling that it's a Yankee dude would kind of be seen as a hero here, but then we realize that Yankee dude is just trying to fend for himself. Three, two, one, like, teabags for you because you teabagged the host of the stream, and then teabag for you because of your dumb Lucas, or something like that. My Lucas is only dumb because I don't know much to do with him. Almost got the tech situate. Almost got the tech in. Yeah, the rope snake was not fast enough to interrupt the up smash from Yoshi. Almost got the up smash in once again. Ooh, pulling back with a fourth smash. Almost got the down smash, but that in but that turned into a down air. Ah yes, up smash out of shield. Always the best option. Up smash in general, always the best option. Alright. Uh, it was meant to be for er, up throw, but I guess it's, I guess the game said no. My bad on the accidental tea bag there. Four throws and hell hit? Huh. Oh, uh, I guess that, uh, yeah, that wasn't meant to be. I guess I'll count that as a self-destruct there. Even if the game doesn't. And the Yoshi bomb takes out my final stock. So that'll be a 1 3 and no win right there. Even if the game does count that as a 2 3, just remember that Yankee Dude accidentally SD'd at the second stock. Alright, Paolo pulling out the main now.
how I've been, you know, like, I won't lose! I was about to say some stuff about sandbagging, but then that should make me a hypocrite since I'm actually maybe sandbagging right now. Depending on how good my Lucas is. We've reset back to neutral. Ford Smash sends Paula off the stage. But then the Ford air from Yankee Dude takes out Hit Paula's hit first stop. Okay, got some jab lock skill. Oh yeah, also as a general reminder, if you want to keep my VOD channel actually up and active, then make sure to, like, alright, yeah, I do know that the videos are actually quite long. Um... At least let me know you want the Vox channel to still be up, and I'll still keep it alive and kicking. But if nothing happens if for the rest of this week, like going up to this Friday, alright, pretty good stuff. If nothing happens on that channel for this week going up to Friday, I'll actually stop uploading stuff to that channel. I want to delete the channel though, because that'd be animal cruelty. So, yeah. That's just a uh, current condition on the things as we now. Alright, looks like we're about to see this match come to a close. Seen Yankee Dude either do some precise movements or just do an autopilot or something. Meanwhile, Paula doing what they know best. Oh, that would have been it for Yankee Dude's his second stalk. Neutral Air sends Yankee Dude off the stage. Yeah, for now it's definitely looking like, yep, a Yankee Dude victory, but Paula has some um, big body privileges of their own. And the up smash will take out the Yankee Dude's second stock. Yankee Dude just immediately answering with a teabag into the up smash. What a legend. Anyways, Yankee Dude goes on to stay in the arena for a bit longer. Going on to fight me next. Ready? I 
I guess she will we're also doing all this. <laughs> I just released my 100 subscribers special on my main channel and since then I've gotten well I'm getting up to 120 subscribers won't be doing uh, oh gosh um dead Lucas yeah dead Lucas all right I won't be doing a 120 subscriber special, but let's see. If it comes down to it, 200 it would be the and next major milestone, anyways. Did, did I already jump? Alright. And I somehow got the forward smash to KO there. Ah, uh, yeah, now that's a great spot to use the up smash. Alright, forward smash from downtown. Um, yeah, I have no idea what's gonna happen next. Yankee dude just see. Living by the principle of that one meme format, see, where pro tip always keep them guessing or something like that. And a nice forward smash to catch me, like going to the ledge and all that. Anyways, Yankee Dude goes on to stay in the arena for a bit longer. Anyways, good fight. That'll be a 2 3 and no win. I'll uh, remain in with the Rob. So, yeah, the Rob is actually Paolo's name. Er, main. Oof. Three, two, one, go! So, I don't really consider myself dyslexic. More like, I don't really pay attention to... Hey, what I read for some of the time. Like, I walk into Walmart one time and they still have those the posters up saying get immunized for some reason. And it, I read the posters as get traumatized today. I immediately did a double take on that. And as it Turns out I kind of did get a little traumatized to that day. On the way home, I saw a bird walking across the street with a broken wing, and the wing looked kind of mangled. Worst part about it is that I honked at it. Anyways, I don't think I'll be honking at injured, injured animals from now on. Which kind of seems like a Captain Obvious moment, but, eh, who knows, other people honk at injured animals as well. Oh, that almost looked like a dead Yoshi there. Anyways, uh, uh, Paola just got a KO with the Ford Smash, I believe? And, yeah, that up, that up here from Yoshi would have... They killed if it weren't for the high ceiling that White Castle has. But that up here will. No, 
Yeah, that's a great parry. And Pella just getting some good Rob stuff in. Just playing the Rob neutral and all of that. Both players are at two stocks. Paula absolutely doing what they do best. And little does Yankee do know, hitting Paula off the stage is actually helping them get further in their goals of running away from the match. Up smash, not quite gonna do it. Got that up smash, also not quite gonna do it. But that back here, gonna do it. Alright. And then the Nair into back here takes out Yankee Dude's second silk. that I did. Hey, where I... Hmm. Where someone called out someone else for... They're running away all the time. But... Hmm. Well, running away all the time, and then I just said, Hey, skill issue. I think I'm starting to see the higher end of that spectrum there. Anyways, going up against Yankee Dude up next. Actually, Yankee Dude has other plans. Or I guess not. Alright. Yankee Dude had another Serena, understandably. Didn't want to see my Lucas anymore, understandably. Alright, going with again in this time around. PK Fire! PK Fire! Almost got the tech there. Kind of surprised at the that the up special managed to reach that far. Oh, uh, so much for the recovery ability with that up special. Catching the jump and do the neutraler, and catching me with the forward smash. And to that day, that Lucas is, was still on the ledge, looking for the down smash.
Lucas does not to Lucas. Uh, Gan Ganondorf does have an electric attack. All right. For a fan-made move that the hell is making, I was gonna have electric attacks and fire attacks from other characters to factor into the move set. And I didn't know whether Ganondorf had an electric attack or not, but turns out he did. So, yeah, cool beans. Anyways, that will be a 3 1 and a win right there. King Dad Man. Holy crap, Dad got promoted. He got promoted to a man, then to a king? That's insane. Anyways, on to Northern Cave we go. Um, yeah, I figured he was gonna start out with a neutral B, but then forgot he can cancel the flare. I guess uh, teaches me for trying some stuff, I guess. Anyways, uh, that edge guard causes me to lose the first stock. Alright, I can't really do anything if I'm getting juggled here. Oh, that hits! Alright. I reacted a little too late with that. Anyways, the up smash will take out King Deadman's first stock. I almost pulled out an up smash there. I'm... I'm only thankful that the up tilt came out instead. That was kind of a ballsy opposite slash if I do say so myself. Alright, good punish. Alright, the wing is gone from Sephiroth. And to punish this Kintilla, the forward tilt you'll have to do. Oh wait, I can just reflect the Scantilla and Sephiroth would immediately be dead. Only problem is trying to read the Scantilla. Hmm. Not exactly dead Lucas just yet. Oh. Lucas is just too smart to not get hit by that four tilt. Big brain moment. Alright, good fight. Two, three, and no win. Oh, Palo's going a little neck this time around.
On to Yoshi's Yoshi's story we go. I guess Pella's kind of used to playing as a shirtless Sephiroth. Kinda explains the planking situation that they put themselves in. Of course that's only an assumption. Kyo Punch takes out that man's super stock. Let's see that Skintoa do some thunder stuff. Parry the first hit of Skintoa, but the rest of the hits is and call it away. And the good advantage from King Deadman returns the favor, and both players are now two stocks. Although one player is more ahead in this than the other. Paula may be about to score a KO here. And yeah, the Shadow Flower really helps out for whenever Sephiroth gets into the advantage. Frame traps is frame traps and extra damage definitely gonna do some good stuff. No matter what, really. Only way it could be bad is if it's got reflected back to you. Anyways, the Mega Flare takes out to Paolo's second stock. That's another three shadow players spinning around Paolo. Or Paolo, I mean. Oh, I thought that was uh, gonna be a free KO punch uh, right there. But it appears that uh, Paolo will be saving the KO punch for never, I guess. <laughs> Unfortunate SD right there. So anyways, King Deadman goes on to stay in the arena for a bit longer. Ready? Going up against me up next. I've forgotten how slow Lucas can be sometimes. And it seems that King Deadman is starting to get into the swing of things since I'm already at Trip snake reaches very far, actually. And the, uh, I guess the uh, reed takes out my first stock. Ah, uh, right. Except for all the talk to slash. Really shred through some ledge trapping, dip well, ledge trapping techniques, anyways. And the forward air takes out my second silk.
down throw. Uh. And the flight dash, which I suppose was either miscalculated or accidental, takes out King Deadman's first stock. Down smash. And uh, I thought the forward air would be hidden right then and there. Anyways, uh, King Deadman goes on to stay in the arena for a bit longer. At this point, it seems I'm obligated to say good fight after every round. Nice! Alright. Looks like I'll be getting some Lucas experience with the worst matchup possible. <laughs> But fortunately for Lucas, he kind of shares the same burden with Ness. Anyways, Bortel to uh, take out King Deadman's first stock. Ah, that's Kintua. Almost gonna take out my first stock. Right, forgot Lucas' PSI Magnet, or just PSI Magnet in general, can hit damage opponents. And the back air takes out my second silk. Once again, I don't exactly have the peace of mind to just use my side smash as a reflector. Porter? Gonna do it. Alright. Kinda used to the neutral bees being the move to launch out the easy to launch projectiles. And his up smash really became that for. Mm, I guess it's just a combination of Lucas's weight, the end lag of the move, and also the. And also just Sephiroth in general. Alright, let's do another match. Agreed. Three, two, On to small battlefield, we go. Hmm. 
Oh, frick, he actually released it. Uh, it's close range. And the PK Freeze cheesed out to King Dadsman's first silk. Oh, that's gonna hurt. Well, I guess now I know the lifetime of Lucas's PK Freeze, accidentally air dodging off the stage. But no, not the homie stock! Man, alright. <laughs> I don't want to win, I want to prove a point! <laughs> Anyways, Octoslash it scoops right under the PK Freeze. Anyways, from downtown, not quite gonna affect Lucas's recovery that much because Lucas has his really good tether rope snake or something like that. Kind of surprised if the. Uh, PK Fire came out whenever it did. Wait, that was. Oh, yeah, it was the final stock. King Deadman SD'd the second stock. I guess on principle or something. Anyways, that'll be a uh, 2 2 and a win. And yeah, I did type that in correctly. Okay. Um, I guess up to it would work there. Almost got the up smash in. I just keep on underestimating how slow it is, so. I really did the up smash again, huh? Eh? Alright. Anyways, Ford Tilt takes out King Deadman's first stock. And then he returns the favor with the Ford Smash.
Kinda surprised the uh, Shadow Flare didn't see, catch me there. Lucas? Um... Nope. Alright. Oh, it looks like I... Maybe a dead Lucas in like... 10 seconds? Like... King Deadman... Returning the favor or something? Uh, nope, that was 10 seconds, and... Yeah, my predictions were off. Insane. Alright. And the up tilt will take out my second stock. Oh, that's unfortunate. Maybe I had a jump there, or something. Haha, <laughs> you won't be homing, you won't be homing stalking as long as you win the match because of it. Yeah, <laughs> just as planned. All right. King Deadman going with a counter pick, even though you won the match. I mean, that's gotta be some sort of power play right there. Yeah, I do it a lot of the time. Wolf! Alright. On to town and city we go. Blaster? Uh, no blaster. This guy is not a Wi Fi wolf at all, apparently. And I don't think that was a homie stock. The wolf up special out of shield. Took me for a ride there. Ah. Well, I guess if Lucas could do the shockwave thing. Well, not really the shockwave, but see the impact PK thunder there. Like all the time, then that would lead to some major stalling problems in high level. And the down smash takes out my final stock. I'll be a uh, 2-3 and no win.
Anyways, King Deadman goes on to stay in the arena for a bit longer. Well, it looks like we'll be the only people here for a good while. Let's we still have a larger sample size for this experiment. Oh wow, that PK fire came out. Anyways, that was a little greedy there. Another really greedy move there. And the Ford Tilt takes out my first Tilt. I keep on thinking I could take those down throws. See, like at really low percents or something. Ah, uh, failed disrespect. I appreciate the attempt though. Oh, I guess if I DI afterwards, then that should work. Is that... is that a death? Yeah, that's a death. Alright. That would be a 1-3 no win. Alright, that man's choosing another counter pick. Or maybe he just saw these matches with the wolf and realized that they weren't going anywhere or something like that. Kazuya Mishima. Suppose only in theory Lucas's neutral air. Probably won't be affecting Nikazia. Okay, never mind. Kazuya got big body privileges, but the big body privileges aren't exactly too much in his favor. Electric Quinn Godfist. Almost got the good tech chase off of that. But he ended up getting the back tech the bad tech chases. Oh, that would have been deadly, actually. Anyways, uh, Rage Form is now off the line. And an edge guard later, Kazuya's first stock is out of the park. Backer cracker. Oh, this may be bad. Eh, it isn't actually. It was only good in disguise though. Oh, unfortunate placement there. How long do you have till tonight? That'll be until one hour later.
as far as the stream goes, anyway. And yeah, welcome, Mill Shadow. Alright, Electric Wind God fist him to the neutral air. Interesting maneuver. It's like with a laser, though. And the PK Freeze will take out King Deadman's final stock. Okay, don't get off till 5.30, trying to see if you can make it. I believe in you! Anyways, that'll be a 3-1 into win right there. Oh, Sir Asian. Uh, hi there. <laughs> I guess those two are just doing the counterpick thing there. Anyways, get back into the arena. Alright. Going against Sir Asian for this next match. Lucas versus King DDD. Managed to save myself from getting hit by the Gordo there. And the dash attack from Sir Asian will take out my first stock. <laughs> now that's cheese if I've ever seen some. Unfortunately, the cheese doesn't always taste good, nor does it always work. Stop trying to fulfill your wildest dreams, come on. PK love almost worked there. PK freezing the Gordo, good stuff. And then PK freezing the DDD. All right. Alright, that actually helps out quite a lot with the recovery. Because not only did the Gordo get stuck in the wall, but it also sent me quite a bit higher. I guess a huge amount of end lag for the move is mainly because Lucas can't handle all that power. Fight the power! Too much power!
One of these up throws got to do it. The PK fire hit him? Now that's a big body privileges moment. Anyways, that's a 3 2 and a win. Anyways, good round. Going up against the King Deadman up next. Going with the Joker this time around. Going back onto Wily Castle we go. I'm gonna PK fire him and I was hoping he would rebel guard it. Well, I guess that's the move he's gonna rebel guard. Anyways, our Sen is now out. And instead of reflecting my PK fire that I was gonna try out, let's see. King Dadman went with a smarter choice and they, they forward smashed me instead. Gage actually. That could have been something, honestly. And PK Fire takes out King Deadman's first stock. Imagine using the PK Freeze to catch landings. That'd be raw as heck. Down through into the back here. What even happened there? Uh, it doesn't matter, he made it back. And. Yeah, still kind of used to how Ness does the uh, PK Thunder. Anyways, our cause is just. And yeah, looks like we'll be continuing in this matchup. Oh, frick. Accidentally didn't see it. uncheck the win thing there. There we go. Three, two, one, go! Still, honestly, really poggers the Persona 5 and... All the other popular Persona games are coming to the Switch. I mean... Yeah, that's just huge. And I have a good feeling that see, the people who were saying that see, today's direct was going to be trash were probably those see, Persona 5 fans. See. Oh, I'm dead. Alright. And the homie stock, of course. Alright. Yes, he rebel guarded the PK fire. But yeah, all those Persona 5 hands who act who don't actually own Persona 5. Who just played Persona 5 by playing the uh, by playing a YouTube video. Believe me, I was there once.
But now we can actually play a Persona game on a system most of us actually own. Oh, that's brutal, actually. And yeah, Persona 4 is already out on Steam, but let's see. I guess that doesn't stop people who only have Switches from enjoying the series, I guess. Lucas is on lasting down smash. Oh, that actually did it. Right. Joker's part of the arson down air does send opponents slightly forward. Anyways. Good job there. That'll be a 1 3 and a no win. I also realized that I did the results for the previous match wrong again by also putting it as 3-1 and no win, even though 3 stocks is a win. Oh well. Anyways, King Deadman going back to Severov here. Not sure what I was thinking there. Now the only thing that's not coming to switch would be Mother 3. And that's it really. Almost got the PSI magnet in. And I guess uh, PK Thunder didn't really count there. Catching the Blade Dash with a PK Freeze, taking out King Dadman's first stock. Still baffles me how long that snake is. I mean, boy! <laughs> I suppose it is a quirky world of Mother 3 after all. Anything's possible. Hmm. Just have the vine boom sound effect each time the snake comes out and grabs a ledge. Man, that would have been a perfect time to forward smash the Scantilla if I actually forward smashed the Scantilla. That was meant to be an up tilt. Ooh, right in the balls. All right, that'll be a uh, one three and no one. Andy going up against King Dadman up next. Sephiroth versus Mr. Gaming Watch. Maybe down special would absorb the orbs? Yeah, that's what I've been 
trying to do all this time, but King Deadman's just a little too good at punishing this. Anyway, Zandi with a really impressive neutral thanks to those bomb drops. And then with a really depressive disadvantage with the down air. Good. Well, I guess Andy could be bouncing back. Just said uh, to Mr. Game and Watch doesn't really do that well against two sorties. Especially those at that caliber anyways. Only thing saving Mr. Game and Watch in this matchup is uh, projectiles. That being the forward air and also the ability to, uh, to do stuff with projectiles. Mega Flare only fills up one spot on the bucket? Huh. Morino. That gear takes out Andy's second stock. Barely missing the two forward smash there. Up smash, not quite really gonna do it, nor is that off to slash. Andy definitely in a little bit of pressure at the moment, that's for sure. Oh, and I guess a bit of outsmarting by Andy takes out King Deadman's super suck. You know what would be funny? What if the Skintilla isn't an energy projectile, but it's more of a physical projectile? And Mr. Game & Watch could just freely reflect it whenever it does come out. I kind of teach a lesson, I guess. Anyways, going up against Sue King Deadman once again. Starting off the match by using the Shadow Flare. Gonna get him me up to like 19%. Not exclusively though. Anyways, I'll just get hit. Ooh, that's gotta hurt. be thinking that uh, yeah, there would be true combos into up smash yeah? anyways the down smash will take out Sephiroth's first stock Exactly, roll away from the. from the thing there.
And the back here takes out my final stock. Then King Deadman just making sure to get that up get that up tilt in before the match officially ends. And yeah, so one three, no win. And then King Deadman goes up against Sandy once again. Andy going the zombie this time around. Going to take Whipper profile picture on uh, Smash. Let's see if the zombie counter pick is gonna work well here. Honestly, yeah, Andy's gotten a pretty good Steve here. Well, decent, actually. Oh, almost glided right off the stage with the up special. Oh, mind game, so. Alright, yeah, I, you know, I don't think it's exactly a hard deal, like. But yeah, for those who aren't in the loop, Harley Alec is uh, well, Harley Alec has been joining these arenas lately under different names and uh, profile pictures. And then just suddenly pulling out the Steve and I'm like, oh hey, another Steve player, that's cool. And then I see some of the characteristic stuff that Harley Alec would do and was like, you know, I don't think that's uh, just a new Steve player. Andy, what are you doing? Oh, um, I guess that's got the second stock down. <laughs> I guess. <laughs> Man. But, yeah, Horley Alec would have definitely said I can keep going there. And... Yeah, for that reason, I don't think that's uh, Horley Alec. Alright. Fun times. You guys have a good rest of your day, King Deadman. Alright. Andy has counterpicked over to the Greninja. Three, two, one, go! Didn't exactly see that Shadow Sneak coming from a mile away, but I guess the PK3 still kind of paid off there. That was a little too slow, I guess. Um, down here, I guess. Ranges grab came out too faster than mine, which is only natural since Greninja's grab isn't a tether grab, though it very well could be. Especially with that, let's see. Pivot, grab, reach. And that was a good recovery read on my part. PK3 is taking out Andy's uh, first up.
That was a pretty good back air, if I do say so myself. And yeah, definitely seems like Candy's looking for the smash attacks at the hyper sense. Only problem is. Yeah. Yeah, how would I be able to punish them anyways? PK Fire from downtown. Doesn't quite see do it there. Anyways, back through, takes out Andy's second silk. Seems that Andy's gonna get some more traction here. On my watch, though. So, yeah, it looks like I'm gonna have to play a game of chicken here. Man, all right. And Andy managed to get the stuck, and goes on to stay in the arena for a bit longer. Anyways, good match. Anyways, starting off the next match. I mean, yeah, it's definitely possible to count the total amount of matches that did happen. Alright, I'm getting ahead of myself, but... Yeah, thinking of adding some sort of feature that would... Let's me see how many matches were performed. during a certain part of an experiment. The roll behind forward smash. Not sure what uh not sure what I was thinking there. I even saw the shadow start traveling the travel in the distance. Anyways, Andy didn't need to tech there and it suffered the stock for it. Alright, the down smash takes out my second stock. Almost got some sort of great spike off of that. What? No impact. 
Man, it's Mega Mind all over again. This is working quite a lot like how the matches in the in a different part of the experiment we're going about. Except this time around, Andy kind of do be destroying me for his, well, with some of the stupid measures, I guess. Like, I've never seen anyone spam smash attack so much and actually get away with it. In fact, they were... In fact, he was also to, about to get away with it as well. Well, get away with another one anyways. Anyways, I guess the failed recovery causes Andy to get his first stock taken away there. I guess the fourth one had to count for something. Ooh, the mind games though. Thought he was gonna go for a roll behind and ready to PK fire to the left. For this match, that'll be a three one and a win here. Incidentally, if this was the, if this guy actually was poorly luck, then I probably wouldn't have said a word about all this being like, whoa, another Steve player, and all that. Anyways. One of the quirks of being a PSI kid. Both just used our magnets at the same time there. Oh wow, that just sealed a lot of damage on him. 
Let me heal some more damage. Yeah, all right. Well, I, I guess I hindered his recovery in some other way, though. Since... Uh, Ness doesn't go as far whenever he hits someone with his PK Thunder. Well, PK Rockets, anyways. realize this guy hasn't tried using PK fire once at all in this match. Maybe he's trying to prove a point here. Or maybe the PK fire is an unfounded ability. Oh, alright, there it is. Nair into down smash, takes out Andy's final stock. And it looks like the uh, it looks like the results are steadily steadily climbing up here. So the average stocks is probably climbing up faster since I was doing bad as far as chaos went for most of the matches. Three, two, one, go! Anyways, on to Yoshi story we go. The near, the mere sight of the PSI magnet caused see, Andy to just fear it in general. Understandable reaction. It's a down special that cheeses the PSI kids out of their recovery, out the down air. Alright, the forward air. And the back air takes out Dandy's final stock. Leaving me to stay in the arena for a bit longer. And the average stocks and average falls are starting to even it well, just even out here. On to a small battlefield we go. Yo, he healed so much there. Get this, he was at zero whenever he started the match. After healing up, he's still at zero. That's insane. That's... Would have been quite the reflective, uh... If the bats came out... If the bats reflection came out, like... Behind the nest or something.
Back through. Not quite gonna do it. Okay, apparently the PK player doesn't heal that much. In the that to catch the landing takes out my first stop. Yeah. In the random up snatch to catch Andy's landing. Takes out Andy's second stock, and then Andy returns the paper with a PK flash. Which, you know, honestly, I thought to the, I thought it would just be, be fine. Just letting Andy do a sing with the PK flash. Using the yo yo to block that PK fire there. Didn't really matter if the PK freeze got absorbed. The down smash takes out Andy's final stock. And that'll be a 3-2 and a win right there. Yeah. Anyways, good fight. Guess we'll continue on with these matches. The Lucas versus Ness matchup. And yet, I definitely say this much. Ness and Lucas, as well as Fox and Falco, definitely seem like the uh, clone characters that only copied the specialist done right. Oh, I almost got the PK-11, yeah. And the forward smash will take out Andy's first stop. And the fort smash from Mandy returns a favor. Ah, 
Yeah, I kind of hate to see it happen whenever you're forced to recover as either an S or Lucas, and... Just fell miserably there. And the Fort Smash takes out my second stock. Both PSI magnets hit in each other's faces there. Anyways, uh, back here into the up smash will take out Tanessa's final stock. And that'll do it for this match right here. Alright, next step is Dasani with the uh, Bayonetta. Oh yeah, we also got to like 15 minutes left until the end of today's stream, so let's make the battles count. The first scene I was expecting after countering one of Bayonetta's stuff is just a witch time right there. Sony kind of making it hard to do the Lucas game plan here. Also, gotta remember that Bayonetta's landing lag is abysmal whenever she uses a whole bunch of moves in the air. Anyways, the PK Freeze will take out Bayonetta's first stock. In the back air, out of the afterburner kick, takes out my first silk. So it seems like I'm doing some pretty good stuff here. And even taking out the Bayonetta's second stock thanks to a single down tilt. Lucas's down tilt just seemed so satisfying to me, especially after seeing one of Alvarez. Don't think I can absorb this. Especially after seeing one of Alfred's see, How To 101 videos from way back in the day. And he was playing Lucas and just did a whole bunch of... See, it down tilts into a uh, grab. And that looked pretty sick actually. Well, alright. Air fist. Oh, four through? Okay. Almost got a good up smash in.
And catching the rebound of the afterburner kick with the PK fire, I go on to Sandy Arena for a bit longer. Honestly, that was a well thought out match. 3 2 and a win. Going up against El Shaddai up next. Also, have a good rest of your day, Andy. El Shaddai bringing in the, the Roy, though. Yeah, I fought against his Roy yesterday while we were just messing around in the arenas. And I kind of got to low key salty because it, I was using my main and he was hitting me so hard with the Roy. He definitely got the. Roy game down pretty well. Well, at least a uh, Roy game against my Violet, anyways. Unfortunately, I decided to hold down my shield for a bit longer. Yeah, you s I mean, y'all seen this right now? Insane, honestly. to catch him with an up smash though. And I didn't think the up smash lasted that long honestly. Thought he was gonna tech roll in, but I guess he just knows better than that. Those scoops, though. <laughs> And if, if you were wondering, the real reason why I said I gotta go is not because I was rage quitting. I, I didn't really plan on rage quitting at all yesterday. But yeah, my mom sent me out of town and errand. And I, and I thought the errand was gonna last a bit longer, but turns out I was wrong. Should have waited a little. Anyways, a good round. There's like 10 minutes left in today's stream, but you can extend it by going into the viewer planks reward and just going down over to the encore if you want. It's all good. Alright, cool. I had reached five consecutive wins. Impossible. And 
Yeah, but the stream will now last until 6.30. Instead of the 6 o'clock as planned here. So yeah, definitely good if you... Well, good for if you find some sort of... I mean, if you're a long-time watcher of Tech Clipper streams... And just want to... Have him get some good stuff in. Alright, that was definitely angled upwards. Again, I was expecting him to roll in like you kind of do, anyways. Ooh, eliminated. I was about to say, not gonna let you do that, but then I literally did let him do that. Smash to punish the double edged dance. No impact? Insane. Alright. Alright, El Shadow's Roy has officially woken up. If one forward smash won't do, then try another. That's a moto right there. In Soviet Russia, you like moto moto. Get over how long that snake can get. Just insane, honestly. Where does it keep its skeleton? Like, does it does it have some sort of telescoping mechanism or something? Or maybe it just it stores all its bones in an extra dimension? We may never know, since there's probably never gonna be in an Another official mother game. Three, two, one, go! The only time Ness and are gonna appear is in Super Smash Bros. Anyways, King Deadman just came back. And, you know, judging by skill level of both of these players, I'll say I'll just conclude the experiment here and just play as my main for the rest of today's stream. Well, one of my mains anyways. But first, the results. Lucas. With a win rate of 39.9. Average stocks of 2.11. Average falls of 2.32. Alright. 
That may mean we won't be seeing a match between El Shaddai and the King Dadman like that ever again, but... Oh well. Anyways, say, say bye bye, Square Ratio. So yeah, some more stuff to talk about as far as today's direct went. Oh yeah, some of the some of the other things aside from the huge news that deserve huge poggers and also Mickey Mouse getting amnesia. Whenever they were doing the Monkey Island seg Monkey Island segment, I literally thought the guy do doing the Nintendo Directs is also the voice of the main character of the series. I mean, wouldn't be too far off. That's quite a surprising hook there. And also a really good coverage of ledge options right there. Oh yeah, and uh, Mickey Mouse doesn't totally, doesn't just get the normal kind of amnesia, he gets the magical kind of amnesia, which makes uh, this, uh, which makes this wholesome story even more special. Anyways, Dark Flare into the 11 Forder takes out King Deadman's sec King Deadman's second stock. I was ready for that up special too, but see, the Octoslash ended up coming out instead. Right, there's multiple hits to the Mega Flare. Thought I was gonna die there, to be honest. There we go, that's a new fun to use. Anyways, good rounds. Anyways, going up against El Shaddai up next. Ah, El Shaddai switched over to the Dr. Mario this time around. Nice!
Thank you. That's a quick way to uh, put 38% onto Dr. Mario there. Just down throw there. And then chase him to the rapid jab. And it should be good. I thought Dr. Mario got hit by the down smash. I guess it does work out like that. And the 11 back here takes out Dr. Mario's sec no, first stop. There are many times when it still baffles me that they decided to make Robin's jab 1 into an anti here. And I guess it just works that way. Go into the super jump punch. Almost got the down smash in. But El Shadow had other ideas. Kind of like I had other ideas too. Anyways, let's tip the scales. He hits me with all, with all his ears, nose, and uh, throat. Yeah. Anyways, El Shadow goes up against Dialga. Up next, Doctor Mario versus Ganondorf. Definitely looking like a pretty close cool match here. But then El Shadow started doing so Oh, well, he just saved him. But then El Shadow finishes the job with the forward smash, taking out Dialga's first stock. It almost looks like Dialga was about to rage quit there, but. I guess they had other plans. Alright, good jab block from El Shadow. And yeah, that's gonna be a dead Ganondorf. You didn't need to do that! Oh well, I guess it could have been worth it. Maybe Ganondorf had some secret recovery ability that we didn't know about. And El Shadow just saved everyone from viewing it or something like that. Kinda puts what I said in a very strange light.
Or maybe Ganondorf's secret recovery is communist propaganda or Chinese or pro uh, Chinese authoritarian propaganda or something like that. Anyways, on to Kalos Pokemon League we go. We see El Shaddai versus King Dadman. And the last time we saw a match like this, King Dadman won. And yeah, El Shaddai was using Roy, so I wasn't able to. And I happened to quit out as. Well, during that match. Meaning I wasn't able to see what all went on in that match. But yeah, that man definitely stuffing out El Shaddai's approaches with Sephiroth's huge sword, anyways. Skintilla sends El Shaddai off the stage and the forward throw, or forward air, finishes the job. El Shaddai almost got some really good stuff in with the Dr. Tornado after the pill. But then the King Deadman was like, nope. Back air from downtown doesn't quite do it. And yeah, it's looking like Kale Shadow is about to get the first stock. Like at any moment anyways. Dr. Tornado from downtown doesn't quite do it. El Shadow knew that the gravel was the best option. Honestly. But then the forward tilt, I believe, takes out El Shadow's second stock. But then El Shaddai fires back with the Void Smash, taking out King Deadman's first stock. El Shaddai immediately taking advantage of Sephiroth's big body privileges. And I didn't see what happened, but maybe the up smash did it. Uh, just a bird threat from my brother. Okay. And no one else. That's unfortunate! El Shadow even dodged the back air from Sephiroth. It just barely even, but then the up special turned into a cape. Honestly though, that was a very close match. Anyway, it's gonna plug my laptop again. Yo, follow my laptop in uns on Instagram or something. Twitter? Nah, who does Twitter anymore? Anyways, King Deadman goes up against me, once again. Three, two, on to Northern Cave.
then the arc fire into imagination takes out uh, King Dadman's first stock. Wait, the sword was still there. After the, after that bit of knockback, I was just assuming that I didn't really have my sword back. But it turns out I actually did. I think he used a. Oh wait. The jump doesn't really matter since he has a wing on. He waves the back air, takes out my first stock, and then I immediately return the favor with the back air of my own. Oh, we're looking at a crunchy Wi-Fi here. And the Legend Forder takes out Sephiroth's final stock. And I go on to stay in the arena for a bit longer. Anyways, good fight. There's only like a few weeks left until I get into the Robin episode of you know, this experiment. Uh, what's the slaughter? Um, well, I mean, you've read the Bible, yeah, and go into the book of Exodus. Some versions of the Bible would... Oh. Um... Okay, yeah, he's able to view it. Oh, what a slaughter. <laughs> Man, that almost has the same energy of having the talk with your 17-year-old kid. And you know the talk, yeah. Oh, that killed. Alright. Almost made it. Oh, he almost got it, though. I appreciate the effort, though.
and the Dr. Tornado takes out my second stuff. Normally reflected the final hit of the arc fire. And that's kind of sad. Anyways, the 11 up here takes out Giovanni's final stock. Having me go on to face uh, King Deadman up next. And now there's two min no, 10 minutes left until the end of today's stream. Yeah, honestly it was. King Deadman goes on to face me with a wolf. I thought this time around he was gonna start with a blaster as well. But yeah, King Deadman definitely not built like the other wolves out here. That's for sure. Stage actually saved the wolf from like, getting KO'd there. Anyways, 11 forward smash takes out two wolf second stock. Think about see Robin's art player that I don't take advantage of that much is that it will definitely stop a wolf's a blaster from a, a just existing. We take those, all right. I'm always three steps ahead. Yeah, I guess I'll I guess I'll be right back for a few moments. Just gotta get into the waiting area. Alright, you I have returned. You make me. You make me want to try Robin. Hmm. Yeah, I do make Robin look really flashy and all that, but. <laughs> My Robin be. Be more like 
cleaning off a matchup inexperience or something like that. But yeah, it'll, it's definitely cool whenever Robin gets the stuff that he wants. The item play actually helps out with the strategy element, as far as Robin goes. Hey, Harley Luck, there's like five minutes left in today's stream. So, like, guess sitting back and uh, watching these matches play out would. Oh, wait, no, I could actually take the spectator stand and. Uh, if you wanna play, then, yeah, you, you can play. <laughs> As, nope, someone already redeemed the encore of the stream, and yeah, just be how it is. Sorry. Oh, the down smash takes out to Roy's second stop. But, um, yeah, what does everyone- what did everyone think about the direct today? Honestly, I... Hmm. Honestly, there were a whole lot of hype announcements for the... thing, that's for sure. But, yeah, as far as Tuesday streams go... I stream from 4 to 6 p.m. U.S. Central Time. And if an encore gets used, that it end time gets extended to 6.30. Meanwhile, yeah, I also was late to the direct by like a few hours. Since incidentally, whenever the direct started was whenever here my shift started at work. So yeah, I just did all the worky stuff I was required to do, and when I got home, I was greeted to, well, upon starting up the direct, we got some pretty hype announcements, so I'll say that much. I've heard quite a lot of good stuff about Tanir Tatamata, and yeah, I'm honestly pretty excited. Hopefully it's optimized for the Switch, cause the games that are directly streamed to your Switch kind of find them sketchy as far as uh, connections go. Oh yeah, I did. Well, I attempted to play Gardic Phone last Friday, but no one arrived. And since I redeemed the Encore myself. I just decided to end the stream at like 12 o'clock that day. Like, no one showed up. Only good thing about waiting for that Gardic phone session to, to start was uh, listening to some of uh, the jazz music that I pulled up on YouTube. Insane in the Rain music really slaps. I'll say that much. Anyways, on to probably the final match in today's stream. Honestly, it would be really good if we got some more people to play Arctic Phone whenever the time comes. It takes a lot of planning, I suppose. Ah, the Elwyn Spike. Takes out Sig King, uh, Deadman's uh, first stock. Could bring an audience into the Guarded film? I suppose that could work. How did the second hit of the uh, F12 not connect?
Oh, that was really close to a shield break. That's for sure. Let's see. Okay. getting to read on this wolf. I'm no longer getting to read on this wolf. Oh, he used his jump, and that'll be it for that stuff. Yeah, I've seen my fair share of Gardic Thone, and it definitely does look pretty fun. Even if I only use the line tool as... Oh, that... No, that's not dead yet, actually. Even if I only use the line tool whenever I... Hey, work on... Whatever art work I do work on in paints.net. I have a feeling uh, I got some good stuff anyways. And... Yeah, that's gonna be it for today's stream. Hope you all enjoyed. And... Yeah, I'll be streaming again on Thursday at 8 o'clock a.m. U.S. Central Time. All the way until 12 to 12.30 p.m. U.S. Central Time. But, um, yeah, that's gonna be it. Thank you all for watching, and have a good rest of your night. Yeah.